It's so peaceful out here, man. Oof. Vincent. Oh my God. <gasps> What, what, what do you think his problem is with that tree? The tree is taller than him, and he's like, there's nothing in this enclosure that can be taller than me. Oh my god. Oh. <gasps> what fine horns you have. Vincent's the first goat I've ever rescued, and it's been a learning process since the start. Sonia, first of all, he's gorgeous, but I just can't fit in my... I don't think they fit in that crate. Hi. I told you to bring a big crate. We'll be home soon, brother. When I first met him, he was actually really timid. Look at you, we got nice. Are you happy now? He seems so much better already. This is fantastic. Look, this is all for you, man. But when we got here, that's a different story. He ran through this, and he's getting through there. Loving the effort. Confidence is key. There you go, yeah. Man, Vincent is just full of surprises. Now it looks like he has a crush on Frankie. Oh, are you guys gonna be buds? Wouldn't want this beautiful goat. My goodness, I'm so grateful that you're here, man. <laughs> He's not your average goat. Little horn, Vincent. <laughs> we talked about this, Vincent. We talked about this. You're not my type. Sorry. Love the confidence, though. My other goat, LeBron, is way more chill and would rather take it easy. They like to butt heads here and there. Sometimes the headbutts are playful. Sometimes it's to display dominance. Frankie doesn't like that kind of stuff. While I'm learning about these goats' personalities, I'm also learning about how many goats all around the country need forever homes. I just got a call about two baby goats who desperately need a home. I need to learn more about these guys before I'm some full-time goat father. But the thing is, is that we can't just leave these babies with nowhere to go. We have to rescue them. Today, we are going on a little road trip. So we have a long drive way deep in Eastern Oregon. Make it rain, Hayes. You should, can you lay on it and tell me? All right. We did this, high five. These baby goats aren't able to breed, so the farm wants to get rid of them. Sadly, they're not likely to wait too long before sending them to a slaughterhouse. Did they say anything about them? Are they nice? I mean, the babies are naturally just Babies aren't nice. naturally friendly. Who were you as a baby? <laughs> I think we're here. I see some goats right there. Hi, sweetheart. Goats actually, the way they put it, don't really serve a purpose on the land. So it's these two? Yeah, with the new collars. And a lot of times, especially out here in the country, when animals don't serve a purpose, they usually get sold for slaughter. Yeah. Oh, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's good. These little guys are usually expected to be working for humans, so I'm not surprised that they're a little timid and nervous hey, around me. Hey, little weeds. Hey. Hi, sweetheart. Where are you going? Come back. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness. You don't think they do? <laughs> Man. They don't know. It's so cool when they trust you. Yeah, I mean, they really just like sink into you like a, like a baby. It's really, really sweet. Hi, sweetheart. Your life is about to get really good. How does it feel being a new dad? Really good. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to getting him big and strong and doing this with him all the time. I feel very protective over them already. Like, I, I, I don't have any kids, but I do feel like I'm holding, like, my baby, you know? I always feel bad when we have to transport these animals. I mean, they don't know anything except farm life. They don't know I'm here to rescue them. They don't know anything about me. They're like, am I the good guy? Am I the bad guy? It may seem silly, but I think the little things help. Just a little extra toy in the trailer, enough bedding for them to feel comfortable. Whatever I can do to make them feel safe, I'll do whatever it takes. Good job. Thanks again, man. I try to stay two steps ahead of everything, especially when it comes to my pack's health. 
but honestly, sometimes I just have to get an animal out of a horrible situation and figure out the logistics later. You're just gonna be in here for a little bit, all right? And then you're gonna have an entire acre all to yourself. Every day I'll be hanging out with you. Turns out something I'm learning about is the importance of quarantine. Diseases can easily spread from one property to another. So our little kids here need to spend a little time in this quarantine area before they meet their new family. All right, good night guys. I'll see you tomorrow. You ready to drive? You want me in the middle? H for high speed. So the baby goats have been in quarantine. They're all goaded. They're not freaking out. They're not freaking good. out, yeah. They're doing so good. They're doing fantastic. It's goat-tastic. <laughs> so we're gonna bring them to their new enclosure, which is basically baby goat heaven. They're definitely not ready to meet Vincent and his big horns. Safety for the animals is my primary concern. Until we get animals that can keep up with Vincent and challenge him the way he needs to be challenged, I need to keep him separated from the rest of them. Yeah, guys, we just built this enclosure, so all of this is a fresh little area for them to uh, relax. Okay, guys, oh, some cribs action here. Look at all your new friends. Look at all your new friends. So we sectioned off a little kid's camp so these guys can spend their days hanging out with a bunch of pigs that we just rescued. Goats. Crib. Guys, help me yeah. out here. What, what should we name these guys? What do you think? They Is deserve something strong. They are the goats. Tom. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. That's good. Tom and Brady. Tom on the right, the one with the more brown, that's Brady. I like that. Tom and Brady. I think he looks more like a Tom, <laughs> and this is a Brady. Done. Tom Brady. You got it. I'm feeling like the brown one Brady's looks more like baby. a Tom. <sighs> Tom Brady. The brown one's now Tom. Tom, you're Brady. Brown one, the Brady. It'll be easier to remember. Sounds He's good. brown. You see, Brady wouldn't do that. Brady would do that. You would, you would. Brady's shady. Are they, are they following us? Wait, let's just... They are. I'm the goat man. Look at my goat. Look at my goat. Look. It's amazing when you give a working animal their first chance to just play, to truly just be free to be themselves. They cut you ah. off, man. In an instant, it's like we have two totally different goats. That's a primary instinct that we see in all young animals. We seek out food and we seek out joy. They're finally getting a chance to just be kids. This is really good for cardio. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You wanna go one more time? <laughs> Why don't you try? <laughs> you know what would be a great idea? Tell me more. I love how they were playing around. Maybe we should build them a playground. I like that. I like Some that. Things that they can jump off of. Be a fun little project, too. Look at them. This thing, yeah. they're loving this thing. Yeah, they really are liking this. Get some logs in there. He really, he's really like having a good time here. Yeah. It's crazy how much more fun they're having. Like they are, they're in their goat element. They're gonna love this. You getting Let's hay? Let's go get some hay. We'll be back in a second. We're gonna get you some high. <laughs>